hi friends welcome to techlistic.com so today i'm going to uh, record a very sweet and short video regarding the selenium introduction selenium the automation testing tool right so let's go to the agenda slide first so the agenda says what is selenium why it's named selenium the different selenium components and how selenium works so this is not a very technical video it's going to be a introductional video where i'll tell you the different aspects and a, a brief history about selenium and the story behind why the developers of selenium took this name all right let's start so what is selenium so just think about it have you ever heard this uh, word before selenium anywhere else before coming to the it industry have you ever heard this word selenium okay let me answer this question so you must have heard this selenium word in your chemistry class or chemistry lab because selenium is a chemical element with uh, these different chemical properties like its chemical symbol is se atomic number is 34 atomic mass is 78 melting melting point is 428 uh, fahrenheit it is a known metal and its structure is hexagonal so why a technical tool is named after a chemical element it's an interesting story let me uh, descri describe it to you so who named automation testing tool as selenium so jason huggins is the man behind who developed selenium while working in the thoughtworks uh, he developed this tool in 2004 he and his team named this tool as selenium why because at that time there was a very famous tool in the market that was automation testing tool uh, its name was mercury it was hp's tool and mercury is again a element so huggins just joked about hp's mercury mercury tool by saying that cure mercury is poison by taking selenium supplements so in chemistry selenium is kind of uh, uh, acts as a base to the mercury uh, might be so this is the story behind the name selenium this is how the developers took this name for this web automation tools introduction to selenium so what is selenium selenium is basically a browser based web application testing tool it is open source means it's freeware you can download it from the internet and uh, start working on it you do not have to pay for it it is an extensible framework you can write your test cases in different languages like java c sharp python ruby html and it supports native browser testing so it only supports browser testing and not the desktop testing or mobile testing right so what are the different selenium components so if uh, when we say selenium selenium is a broad term so selenium has different components like uh, <clears throat> the jason huggins while working with the thoughtworks they developed the uh, selenium one version selenium one is termed as selenium id and selenium rc 
so selenium id is a record and play tool uh, no coding is required while working with the selenium id it is a plugin that comes with firefox and chrome you can install that plugin and uh, you can launch the selenium id tool you can perform some manual operations and uh, id will record that manual operations and convert those actions into selenium commands and it will generate a selenium script for you so you can save that script and you can use that in future for automation testing so that is selenium id it is a very simple tool it has some drawbacks like you cannot use the uh, language logics inside selenium id like if else conditioning or for loops because it does not support any language so you can just perform the very simple kind of testing with selenium id where you just have to enter some values in a form clicking on the links clicking on the buttons that's it if there is any logic a complex logic in your automation test case id won't be able to automate that scenario so to overcome that thing they developed a newer version of selenium which was selenium rc rc stands for remote control selenium remote control uh, comes with different language supports you can write your test cases using uh, the different languages like java python c sharp right so the shortcomings which were in the selenium id they were overcome in selenium rc and it was quite popular before the selenium web driver comes into the market so selenium id is still popular in the market and it is still available and the updates are coming people are using it one of the coolest feature of selenium id is you can convert your selenium id script into selenium web drivers script so you can record the actions and you can there is an option export option in the selenium id by which you can convert that script in, into some other language script like python java or c sharp that is that is a very cool feature in selenium id okay so after that then comes selenium 2 selenium 2 was developed by google and they later on make it uh, freeware so selenium 2 was the selenium web driver selenium web driver overcomes the shortcomings of the selenium rc so rc have some shortcomings like it has some uh, redundant commands like some duplicate commands it has some different commands but those commands were doing the same thing and uh, one another shortcoming of rc was like there are some disabled elements on a web page so selenium rc was able to interact with those disabled elements so that was one of the biggest shortcoming because we expect from a automation tool that it should behave the same way like a user is you know interacting with the web page or a website so a user cannot interact with a disabled element let's say a disabled select box as a user we cannot uh, click on it we cannot select any option from it but selenium rc commands were able to do that so that's why selenium rc was rejected i mean rejected by saying rejected was uh, people think that there is a you know need of improvement in rc and that's why selenium web driver comes into picture google developed it and uh, they also developed a different version of selenium which was selenium grid so grid is not an automation testing tool you can say it it is a automation monitoring tool so by using selenium grid you can you know uh, 
create a server and node like combination you can set up a selenium server and uh, you can register the different machines like if you want to execute your test cases on different operating systems let's say you have a mac machine you have a linux machine you have a windows machine you can register all those machines on 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 one different machine which is the server machine using the selenium grid and those machines those three machines will be called the node machines so you can start the execution on the node machines from the selenium server itself by giving the commands from the selenium server and you do not have to you know uh, log in into the, all of the three machines and start the execution monitor the execution and saw the results you can do all that monitoring task from that one server machine i guess that is called hub so that is selenium grid how selenium works so uh, not going into the technicalities i'll give you a very uh, broad picture so whatever you write i mean any any selenium script say it as a selenium id script or rc script or web driver script this is the selenium code this is the selenium itself these are the different browsers and this is the test applications which we have opened up on the browser so you you wrote the code you execute your script what it does is it sends the instructions written in this script one by one to the selenium and then selenium pass on those instructions to the browsers and browsers then execute those instructions on the website that is opened on the browser and then the application sends back the re response to the browser by response means the instruction which is executed on the uh, website it sends the response back to the browser that the instruction is that command is passed or not passed or failed whatever then the browser send back that that response to the selenium and then selenium sends back that response to the script and this flow of execution continues until the last instruction on in the in your script until the script is fully executed so this is how selenium works that is it from my side if you have any queries you can come uh, ask me in the comment section right and uh, do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you very much